A double murder trial now into week three. Jeremy Christian is accused of stabbing three people on a MAX train in 2017, killing two of them. His defense team started making their case today. Fox 12's Camilla Orti was in court all day, and she joins us live now with a recap of what went on earlier today. Camilla? After two weeks of state witnesses, it's Christian's defense's turn to bring people to the stand. A key witness for them today, breaking down why he thought Christian was physically threatened on that train and acted in self-defense. So the people that approached Mr. Christian, they got very, very close to him. They got too close. It's just, it's confrontational to do that. Important testimony for Jeremy Christian and his defense team today, coming from use of force specialist Stephen Yerger, who provided his own analysis of what happened on the MAX train back in May of 2017, using videos and police reports provided to him by the defense. Well, at that point, the phone's a threat to him. It's something negative to him. Jurger breaking down how witnesses, quote, poured gasoline onto the fire. He called this moment a schoolyard standoff, saying surviving victim Micah Fletcher's actions and body language here, including the pushes, were threatening to Christian. Well, you make a lot of assumptions. You make a lot of assumptions in your testimony. Prosecutors drilling into Jurger on why he didn't consider what Christian was saying and doing threatening. Wouldn't it just change your analysis outright, the fact that Mr. Christian armed himself with a four inch knife uh, right after making uh, the first shove. Not outright. The back and forth prompted this outburst from Christian. That's because it didn't happen. The defense also called up three officers to testify about a counter protest in Washington that Fletcher was involved in the month before he was stabbed on the max. Police say Fletcher showed up to a pro Trump rally with a smoke bomb. And he had given one of those to another uh, protester. What did you observe subsequent to that? The other protester lit it and threw it into the middle where I was at. And the judge warned Christian to be quiet during witness testimony or he would be escorted out. Court wrapped up a little bit early today, but full days are expected for the defense tomorrow and Wednesday. You can, of course, continue to get updates right here on Fox 12. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Camilla Ortiz, Fox 12, Oregon.